I'm one of those people that just loves the summer. Any warm weather, springtime and summertime especially, and early autumn, and then I'm like, I don't like the cold, but I'm trying to embrace it all. I recently went to a barbecue with a nonprofit that I'm with, just the group of people. We had never done that. We've been together for over 10 years now. It's, it's 11 years old, the organization. And my sons were so excited that they were able to go fishing. They've been wanting to for years. It's been so long since they last did it. They had such a great time. They didn't catch anything, but they really enjoyed it. And if you know anything about me, I love lily pads because it means frogs might be near. This was actually Dane's first experience with a dog. He cried so much at first, but then he just couldn't stop looking at it. We ourselves don't have a dog right now, but hopefully one day. Back in February, I decided to sign up for Fit for Mom, which is a group of mothers throughout the country that do workouts with their babies in their strollers. It's very important for me to maintain an active lifestyle and I've always been active. But since giving birth, if you saw my birth story, you would see I was very, very large in my later pregnancy. So I have diastasis recti, where it's the separation of the abs and it's caused me to have a, a real hard struggle of getting back to my tiny self that I'm used to. I've been healing and working on it very, very hard. I go two to three times a week to this, but I also do cycling. I also walk and I am very much trying to heal this ab separation that I have with an extra thing with breathing exercises. It's so important to me to get back to normal because I did with my first two and I can do it again. It will take time. I want my kids to reuse so many of their items for back to school. We don't really do much back to school shopping. They use their backpacks again. And here they are organizing because they didn't go through their backpacks when school ended. They just kept everything in it. So I said, it's time to recycle this stuff. And that's when I said, you know, I need to reorganize my closet. So let me do that. And this little guy wanted to help me. These are my shoes from the black ones in the middle over to the right and the other side's my husband's shoes. Not included here are my sneakers for my workouts. That's on my stairwell. But I was really struggling between these two casual shoes, the Vans and the Converse. I'm gonna choose one. Both hurt in different ways, but I'm still breaking in the Converse. I do not like how Vans feel. I've tried and tried, but they hurt my toes so badly. My husband had picked them out for me and he was so sweet about it and they're cute, but cute isn't enough. I need shoes that are comfortable. So I have shoes for everything that I need. The casual shoes, the shoes for when it's colder, and the shoes for when I have to go to special events or to wear with my dresses a little bit, and the flats for the fact that these are light shoes and these are dark. So I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks in that way. And these are my husband's shoes. He actually has like three other pairs that are out on our stairwell. These are our coats and sweatshirts. And I feel like this is messy. So here's the thing. My husband doesn't want me to get rid of these plastic hangers that we've had for like 20 years. I love wooden hangers. And I got these probably like four years ago. 
And I just love how things sit on them better, but I have no need to even use these. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these and uh, recycle them. He doesn't really wanna recycle these because when you recycle plastic, sometimes it doesn't actually get recycled. I keep my stationary bike in here. I hate having it in there, but I put it right here in this spot that you see. Dane keeps trying to climb it and play with it. So I have to keep it away for now. These are the shoes that I'm donating. The boots give me corns and these shoes are just hard to walk. I know it's, it doesn't look messy, but to me, it looks awful. <laughs> it's pretty crazy when you think about how quickly kids outgrow their clothing. Dane doesn't fit in some of his 12 month shirts now, so I have to get him 18 month clothing. He is almost 15 months. But also with the season change, I don't have any long sleeve things other than a couple pajamas. But those are 12 months and a little tight on him now. So it's time to pack them all up until maybe the next baby. This is our only place for storage other than in the attic where I don't like to even put anything in. So things like what you would normally put inside your closets in your larger houses. This is all I have. Otherwise we have a small closet in our room, very small closet, same size actually, This a small closet in our boys room. So here I had made this curtain because we used to have, we used to have a big wooden door here and it was not in right and it kept swaying and our boys when they were really little not that one but the two big ones they used to like sway it we were afraid they were going to just fall off and one day one of them did fall off so i had to make a curtain but yeah so this is this is what i have to worry about this little guy always tries to go in here to play with this to me it looks very cramped but when I think about the fact that we don't have a lot and this is our only storage, I'm like, you know, this is not bad. The exercise bike, I wish I could keep it somewhere else. I really do. And then I have this foam roller used for exercising. So this is, this is what I have to deal with. And again, like Dane doesn't even have this filled. Like this is, these are his shirts. These are his shorts, his pants his pajamas. We have ones that are long sleeve and short sleeve in here. And then we have, these are sweaters and sweatshirts uh, for different ages. So he's in 12 months, but these are 18 months. This is 12 months. And then we have in here, this is the only 18 month stuff we have right now is a pair of pants and one shirt. And then down here are more 18 months pajamas that we have not used yet. So those are, that's all, that's his clothes. And then I've shown this before, but the, this is all my fabric. So this is the pink and the purple. If you know anything about quilting at all, a lot of people are very addicted to just collecting fabric. So I am very particular about how much I have. These are all scrap fabric that I can reuse over and over again. And then I have batting here for a king size. This was given to me, a queen size. So it's queen. Um, I hope to use it at some point, but I haven't had a chance to make anything that size for a while because someone takes up my time. No, you cannot do this. Keep that there. All right, come on out. Come on out, no more touching. No, I don't want you in there. So that is our storage and I've shown the books over here. We put these shelves up when Dane was born and these are library books on the bottom and these are the ones that we keep. Yeah, this. <laughs> oh, you're so silly. Dane. In other news, Leto got a flat tire. <sighs> talk about back to school stuff. So clothes. I didn't buy Micah or Leto any clothes. They're in high school now. Leto can buy his own clothes if he wants to. He has a job. He bought himself a pair of pants because he outgrew a pair that I have to donate. 
So he's doing the like one for one thing, which is something that minimalists often implement, that if you wear something so much and something is damaged or that you can't fix anymore, or you've outgrown it, you get something to replace it. When it comes to shoes, also Leto bought himself a new pair of shoes that he needed earlier in the summer and Micah's feet, they keep growing. So we bought him a pair of shoes. When it comes to clothing, we were like, do you want any clothing? He's like, no, I think I'm good with what I had from last year. And I, I've noticed he's sort of been outgrowing his shirts, but he likes wearing them still and they don't look short yet. So we'll keep an eye on that. He'll probably need some new clothes soon. I don't even know if he has enough long sleeve clothing. So we'll, we'll just play that by ear and see how it goes. But I feel like our society is very much into this whole, like you have to buy all new clothes to impress people. Why, why do you have to impress anyone? If you like your clothes, just wear them and wear them as much as you can until they get worn out. There's nothing wrong with that. And it made me think about when I was entering 10th grade, I switched schools going into 10th grade and my mom was like, oh, should we do some back to school shopping for you? And I said, you know what? My clothes still fit. Um, I think I'm good. So I wore the same clothes that I had worn the year before. I was like, no one even knows me anyway, so they won't know that it's all old clothes. And you know what? No one noticed, no one cared about it. And I liked the clothes I have. And I feel like that was a really big step for me because I was always like, I want this, I want that back in that time. I learned from that experience, like, you know what? That was really mature for me to be 15 years old and going, yeah, this is good. I can wear this again. So I wanted to show you, this is Micah's backpack. Now, if you don't know, I homeschooled my sons until three years ago. So they are entering their fourth year in public school. Leto has been in high school the entire time he's been in public school. So when they entered public school, I bought them backpacks and they are still using the same backpack. You do not need to go and buy new backpacks unless they're falling apart and you can't fix them. If they're bottoms of their backpacks, there's nothing wrong with them. They have now in schools where they have to have Chromebooks so they don't even need a lot anymore. I said to them, do you guys need new notebooks or anything? And they said, no, we're good. So they literally ripped out anything that was used in their notebooks. So these are not brand new, but you could tell like this one is thinner because we ripped out all this stuff from the previous year. And this one has a lot more but they're, they're fine. Like this one's kind of falling apart, but it will be okay. And I said, you know, if you, if you need more, we'll get you another one, but they only used two last year. So I think two is enough. That's all that's in his backpack right now. And then we'll shove it, all their papers inside. And then for, I just bought them new pens. I bought them two pens each. And I guess this one's still good. They have pencils. They're just, you know, the regular number two pencil. That's all. Now, I said to them, if you need anything else, let me know. They have because they don't need calculators because there is an actual app they have on their Chromebooks for having calculators. So that saves money. Now, if they're younger kids, maybe they need colored pencils. Why can't you use the same colored pencils from the year before? If they're stubs, I understand you need to replace those. They give you a list when you're in elementary school. So I don't know exactly how they do it these days. Like I said, I'm a homeschool mom up until three years ago. I'm just stating that you don't need loads of new things. You could reuse things that you've already used that are still in pretty good shape. So I feel like when I go and I see all these back to school deals and do all these kids need these brand new things? And I feel like it's just our society thinks, oh, new school year, you need new things. I really wanna stress that oh, if your kids are entering a new school year or maybe they already entered it, or maybe even to help you for next year, kids are always growing. So yes, they'll probably need new clothes depending on that. I understand, like I said, I've got teen boys, they've been growing. I've had to buy Micah, I think like four pairs of shoes in the past three, years, two years, if I think it was, his feet just went. <laughs> so I get it, but 
you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to buy five pairs of shoes. My kids only have a couple pairs of shoes each. Maybe you could tell me your experience if you've had to buy a lot of things, but when you do, you really don't have to. And I feel like fashion has changed in a weird way since COVID, where when I go to pick up my kids, all the kids wear the same clothes every day. They're in sweatpants every day. Like my kids are the only ones that don't wear sweatpants to school because I'm like, uh-uh, you're not doing that. Those are for lounging and for working out. I know a lot of people, they're like, like my sons will say some of their friends just live in their sweatshirts and you don't know what shirt they're wearing underneath. And some don't even change out of their pajamas, they say. So why bother spending the money on clothes if they're not gonna even wear them? And yes, fashions change, but listen, the fashion that I've seen right now is the same fashion from when I entered high school. It's so weird how everything goes in loops. Maybe you could go thrifting for your clothes, get your, your baggy Jenkos if they sell them at a thrift store. I don't know. You'd have to figure that out and see what works. Well, I hope that all of you moms out there don't stress, okay? You don't have to worry so much about what they have to have. They don't have to have so many things. They just need the essentials for whatever it might be. For They, they go to school five days a week. That's like if you wanna do seven shirts and they can rotate a shirt every day and and then you know change up which day they're wearing it. Sometimes I notice my kids that I'm like, you wore that shirt three days ago, let's change it today. And because they don't have a lot of clothes. Everything that they have fits in one drawer and that's how we all are. We all have clothes that fit in one drawer each. So we don't have a need to have loads and loads of things. All right, guys.